Well, hello, beautiful people. What is up? I am so freaking excited. Okay, let's just, <laughs> first of all, I'm sweating even though it's snowing outside. I'm literally melting, probably because head to toe, I'm wearing the fuzziest outfit. It'll be linked down below. Um, it's all from Eloqui and it is so, so luxuriously soft. And when I tell you this is so warm, <sighs> I am actually melting like a freaking snowman. But that's besides the point. Okay, let's talk about good news. Let's talk about things um, that I am so excited because I have news. I have news. And that is that for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, Instagram, okay, I finally went on Friday and got myself a P.O. box. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's right, you guys, party with me. I finally have a P.O. box. And I will probably mention this in a couple of videos just, you know, to make sure everybody hears it because obviously um, not everybody's gonna watch every single video. Um, so if you hear me talk about it a couple of times, you know, just be patient. I wanna make sure everybody is aware. But uh, yeah, you guys, I'm super excited. Again, thank you all so much for your patience and please don't feel um, like you have to send anything. I know I mentioned this in uh, on Instagram over on Friday, but uh, don't feel like you have to send anything to it. This is just for those of you that you you want to or you want to send me a note, whatever. I just, I don't ever want people to feel obligated or feel like guilty or weird. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you love me any less, okay? If you're, if you're not sending something to the P.O. Box and I just want to, I just want to make that clear because I feel like, um, I feel like sometimes, you know, there's kind of a weird connotation there and I want you guys to know I appreciate it if you send it and I, there's, it's okay if you don't. Like, I, I just don't want there to be any, any pressure at all. But now that we're done with good part number one, okay, let's move on to good part number two, okay? The, the reason we are here for this video, and that is this newest launch from e.l.f. This is the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, and this freaking launch, y'all, got me so, so next level excited. I did pick this up and a couple of other things off of their website that also just launched. There's some shadow sticks, there's a mascara, and then there was also a couple of skincare things. I picked up this oil, oil control and pore minimizing serum, which obviously isn't really for this video, but I did pick this up. I'll test that out, you know, on my own kind of day and night type thing. And then they also launched a eyelash serum, an eyelash growth serum. And I will be testing that out as well. It's in the bathroom. I haven't used it yet, but I will keep you guys updated on both of those. So if all of this sounds good to you, and if you, uh, you're into the elf thing, hang tight. Obviously we're going to get into the video here in just a second. But before we do that, I like to pause at the start of the video and just introduce myself for anybody that might be new here. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Again, welcome to the channel. I put up three new videos a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then also, if you haven't done so yet, I would really, really appreciate it if you would take a second and go follow me over on Instagram. I am really trying to grow that platform. I'm working my tuchas off. I hang out in the IG stories, which of course you guys know at this point. Um, that's kind of where the behind the scenes for the channel happens. That's where I told everybody about the P.O. box. That's where we take walks. Um, we do PR unboxings, regular unboxings, talk about, just talk about everything I feel like in the office. And uh, yeah, I just, I hang out with you guys the most over there, skincare, whatnot. Out in the feed of Instagram, the part where I post, there is a ton, a ton of content. Um, I try to upload there several times a week. We have a mixture of reels, makeup IGTV videos, makeup tutorials, mini makeup reviews, plus size fashion. And overall, just, you know, ki kind of the mix of everything that I enjoy, whether it is the makeup I'm testing, makeup I'm already loving. But anyways, moral of the story, okay? Follow me on Instagram, trying to hit 10,000 followers. And with that, beautiful people, let's go ahead, let's zoom the camera in, and let's get started. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, I am still sweating. Oh my God, I'm sweating so bad, but I don't care because I'm fuzzy. I'm so fuzzy. All right, you guys, so we're good and zoomed in. I just went ahead and primed my skin with a little bit of my regular Tatcha Silk Canvas just because it's a base that I've, I know and use all the time. And anytime I'm testing a new foundation, I try to keep, you know, the other items relatively similar. That way I know how the, uh, the foundation itself works. But getting into the actual uh, Camo CC Cream here, I just pulled it up on the e.l.f. website, which again, everything will be linked down below if you want to check it out. And I'm just going to run through a couple of the details. It says that this is a medium to full coverage color correcting foundation with SPF 30 protection. And it says too that it has a natural finish and it has it is a multitasking foundation that provides skincare benefits infused with hydrating and youth boosting ingredients known to improve skin texture and tone. Also, by the way, it looks like it is available in 20 shades and it retails for $14 and you do get one 1.05 ounces, which is a little bit better than the standard one fluid ounce. So as far as the shades here, it breaks them down not only by shade, like fair, light, medium, tan, deep, and rich, which are their six categories, but then it also breaks that down into undertone. So you can choose cool, neutral, or warm. And 
then as far as the shades that I chose here, I grabbed Fair 140W, which says it is a warm golden undertone. And then I also grabbed Fair 120N, which is more of a neutral beige undertone. Okay, so here they are out of the box. And my first reaction is I'm definitely getting more and more of the It Cosmetics CC Cream vibe out of these, whether it is the packaging, which is the exact same as It Cosmetics. It's a nice, like, squeezy, pliable tube. So you'll be able to get all of your product out, but still have a pump at the end, which is really nice. Um, but yes, very much so, again, similar packaging to that. And then also, even in the way that they're marketed, it's very similar as well, because those ones are a, like, a fuller coverage, natural looking CC cream, which is exactly what these are claiming to be. And the ones from It Cosmetics, for me personally, those don't work. I've tried every single version, the original, the luminous, and the matte, and they're just not for me. Like, my skin, for whatever reason, is not a fan. But I do really, really love, if you're curious, their new foundation, the Your Skin But Better. That is fantastic for my skin. So I really like that. Oh, and also, too, by the way, I did pick up the brush that they were talking about with these. It's this little guy right here, their new uh, Complexion Duo brush. And it says that uh, it's the only brush you need for a flawless airbrushed finish. It's a two-in-one that's designed for the application of foundation and concealer. So it has a little brush down here for concealer. And then obviously this guy right here for foundation. All right, so here are the two different shades of foundation. This is 120N and this is 140W. And 140W is definitely very yellow on my skin tone. So I think for me of those two, I am gonna go in with the 120N because typically I prefer a neutral undertone anyways. And uh, I actually like the tone and the color of this one. I think it'll work the best. And uh, we're gonna start with the brush here, just kind of lightly working it into the skin. Oh wow, that is that is a little bit lighter than not normally. But I do like the tone. I feel like that works really, really well, like the, the neutral aspect of it. So we're just gonna have to make sure that we bronze up. And of course, I'm gonna pull it all the way down my damn neck. Hopefully we can just kind of seamlessly transition. But this right here is one full layer on. I didn't go in and add anything additional. I just wanted you guys to kind of see what you get first go versus nothing on this side. And as far as the finish goes too with this brush, I actually really like it. I like that the brush doesn't really like cake it on. It gives me a nice like even layer and an even application. And that's something, especially with a heavier consistency, which this one has kind of like a medium weight to it. It's not really thin and runny, but it's not like super duper thick. So I think I'm actually going to go in and work it in the same way because I do like the way it looks with a brush. And then maybe if I see like any areas that are streaky, I can just smooth it out with a sponge later on. I really just like this with a brush. I feel like the application is super fast and it's very even, which is quite nice. Wow, that is that's really nice. All right, so hello, beautiful people. We are officially to the point in the video where I wanted to bring you in nice and close. And by the way, if you're new to my foundation reviews, this is something that I like to do just so you all can really, really see like the texture of it, how it's setting, um, the coverage and all that kind of stuff. Because I feel like the one the, the one thing that it's really difficult to get to come across on camera is the, the, like, the coverage and the texture and stuff like that, the stuff that's really, really important. And so I like to really bring the camera in as far as I can and turn the light down and give you guys a nice shot of just how everything is looking to, you know, hopefully expel any questions you're having uh, as far as coverage and, and texture and that sort of stuff. So here is my face. <laughs> Here's my face. Um, nice and close. And I got to be honest, I actually really, really like the way that this is looking. I feel like it has a nice amount of hydration. Like it does have, you know, that glowy look to it, but it's not overdone. It doesn't feel like it's completely sloughing off, but I can definitely tell that the hydration is there. And as far as the coverage goes, I actually think it is beautiful, especially like right through here. Like my, all of my redness is completely nice. It is balanced, which is beautiful. The only area that I am noticing, and I don't know if it'll come across on camera, but the only area I'm noticing a potential for problems is like right through here, um, which is pretty common for me because I am combo leaning oily. So my T-zone is always a little bit problematic. But uh, yeah, I, I do like it overall, just this area. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it out with the sponge, which I think I might have even mentioned earlier did look a little bit... Um a little bit funky. It looked a little streaky. Okay, so as far as the sponge goes, I'm definitely seeing that it's picking up a little product. You can see it on the sponge right here. Um, and it's not like it's picking up a lot of it, but just something to mention that it is going to remove any excess that you have sitting on the surface of your skin. And it very well may remove some of that glowy right there that we're getting. Like it's not quite as intense as it was a second ago. So just something to note, but uh, I actually like the way that this foundation is pressed in with a sponge. I think that it helps it look even more like 
like smooth and less texturized. All right, so I'm going in with concealer. This is the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer in the shade WN01. Oh, and also, I just like you guys to know, just because I feel like I need to get this off my chest, um, I did have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer set out for this video. I have no idea where the hell it went, but I had it set out for this video. It was sitting right here. Like, I, I could have literally closed my eyes and put my hand on it because I have been leaving it in that same spot. I've been using it constantly, and all of the sudden, I sit down to do this video, and is it here? No. Somebody stole it. Obviously, somebody stole it. Definitely couldn't be that I didn't clean off my vanity and then it probably fell and rolled under something. Definitely not that, okay? Somebody for sure stole it. But I tell you what, I'll let that go completely because the finish of this concealer and the finish of this uh, CC Camo Cream stuff is actually really good together. They're both more of a natural finish. And it definitely shows. Like, my under eye to my skin, like, to my cheek right here, looks completely seamless. And it's really beautiful. Like, I'm almost starting to get concerned that this is going so well. Like, should I be suspicious? I don't know. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. And as per usual here, I'm just setting down my under eyes and my T-zone with a powder that I know and use all the time, and that would be the Hourglass Translucent Veil Setting Powder. So at this point, I'm just gonna go through and set my face uh, like I normally would. This is the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Pressed Powder pressed powder, rather, and this is in the shade Light. And then also, just for those of you that don't like to set your makeup, I did do a light touch test with this just to see um, how it felt sitting on the skin, and I did get a fair amount of transfer, like, just it within one touch. So definitely, again, just be mindful of that if you don't like to set your makeup. But I'll be over here setting mine, okay? I'll just be setting the whole damn face, because y'all know, gots to get it set down. Oh, wow, that looks beautiful. Hold on, does that look as beautiful on camera as it does in real life? Oh my god, I just caught myself in the viewfinder, or in the, the whatever this thing is, monitor. I guess, I don't know the words, okay? I don't, I don't know words. But oh wow, that looks so nice, super smooth too, like over the cheeks. Ooh. Guys, I'm impressed. All right, you guys, so obviously I went ahead and moved the camera back out. I wanted to, first of all, give you a shot of how it looks with a little perspective. That way you're not, like, this close to my face. You can actually see, you know, how the coloring and everything is looking. And I actually really like it. I'm seeing a little bit of a difference in color, like, right on my neck right here. But that is not, just so you guys know, that is not the foundation. That's the um, IT Cosmetics powder. And I've noticed that as winter has progressed, <laughs> I'm getting pastier. And when that obviously happens, that, that foundation powder does get just a little little too dark for me. So I think obviously I'll be able to like, you know, even it out and make it work. But just so you know, if you are noticing that, um, it's not the foundation doing anything. If anything, I think the foundation warmed up really, really nicely to my skin. But at this point in the video, I am going to split off like I normally would in a foundation review. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of it off of camera. I'm going to do bronzer, blush, highlight, brows, and I will probably stop back on to do the other items. But uh, aside from that, I'm going to go ahead and do these and I will be right back. And all right, you guys, obviously I'm back. I have the rest of those items on my face and now we are going to bust into the uh, new no budge shadow sticks like I said before at least I think I mentioned before I did pick them up in three shades I have a purple a blue and what looks to be kind of a champagne -y one but let's go ahead first here and give them a swatch to see what we're working with they're just like a standard pen and kind of a thick crayon applicator here. <gasps> Ooh, that is beautiful. Look at how shiny. Okay, this is in the shade Champagne Crystal. Very nice, hyper-reflective, probably like an inner corner brow bone kind of moment. Oh God, that's gorgeous, okay. And then the next one we have is this purple shade. This is in Rich Amethyst. Very, very beautiful. Very rich, too, <laughs> as the name would suggest. Last but not least here, we have the shade Midnight Sapphire. <gasps> Ooh, I really like that one, too. God, these are three beautiful, beautiful colors. And I think out of these colors, I am going to go with the purple just because I'm wearing all green, and I love the combo of green and purple together. And I just want to see on the back here, it says, this is a no-budge, creamy metallic eyeshadow featuring a long-lasting formula that helps avoid smudging and cream. The smooth formula glides on easily and flawlessly, creating a one-swipe application. The included sharpener allows you to sharpen the tip to use as eyeliner or uh, sharpen after just everyday use. So I gotta say, in terms of ease of use, these are going like gangbusters, you guys. It works so easily. All I did was apply it to the lid and then like blend it out with my finger. And now I'm just going in kind of on top of that and building the shade a little bit. But I really like how customizable, like you can get the color. You can shear it out a lot or you can build it. Also, it blends really great with a brush, too. I just went ahead and built it up again, and I wanted to see if it would blend the same, and I am just pleasantly surprised yet again. 
um, all around that it did. I'm actually taking a little bit here on the tip of the brush too and just kind of using that to pack on to the outer corner. And that is also working. My God, these are gorgeous. And then I'm going back in here. This is just a Luxie 229 brush. And I'm just using that to lightly blend it out onto the lower lash line, onto the <laughs> lower lash line. All right, so next up, we're going in with this new mascara from e.l.f. This is their Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. And the wand does have more of like a like a spiky baseball bat <laughs> kind of look to it. Um, it's not like the, like the larger, more hourglass-shaped volumizing bristles that I'm used to. But uh, I'll give it a shot. You know, you guys know me, okay? I just love to test mascara. So I'll give it a shot, see how it looks up, build up a couple of coats here. And all right, you guys, with that, obviously the full face is done. Let's go ahead and get the up close up on the screen. And for me, I'm just going to say overall, I'm very, very impressed with this foundation so far. I think it is settled and pressed into the skin. I think it looks very nice and smooth, which truthfully for this foundation, I was a little bit nervous about because when I was going in and applying it, it did have a slightly thicker texture to it. And it's not that it was like overly thick in a chunky way, but sometimes with like that CC cream kind of vibe to it, it can cause, you know, a little bit of an issue with texture and just overall being too thick on my skin. And I'm really happy with this one, especially over the cheeks. I feel like it looks really, really beautiful. The only area that I'm noticing even a slight amount of like what could potentially be an issue here in a few hours would be this upper lip like smile line region. And that's just because I'm noticing a little bit of creasing right there, which is pretty standard for me because my creases in this area are pretty intense. Uh, but other than that, I, I don't really have anything negative. Well, may maybe just a little bit here like on the side of my nose. <laughs> on the sides right here, like right in the nose crease. Um, I'm noticing some settling there, which again, that's also not very weird for me. I feel like I almost always have foundation settled there. So uh, yeah, overall for me, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna go ahead, run off of camera, obviously do my day, and I will step back on here in a little bit, and obviously we will see how things are wearing. Um, so yeah, hang tight, and I will be right back. Okay, beautiful people, so here's the deal. I decided that uh, I was gonna change up this entire video. Normally, you guys know, I come back at the end of the night, I do my check-in, and I, that's usually usually it for like my first impression kind of videos, but I decided for this video, I wanted to have a little bit more information because what I noticed, and I'm going to go ahead and put up the up close. I took this after about eight hours of wearing the foundation yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and get that up on the screen for you, but what I noticed with this foundation after eight hours is that overall, it did look really nice. It had a beautiful um, like set on the skin. It wasn't, a, you know, there wasn't a ton of breakage really to speak of. My smile lines were settled out a little bit, same around the nose, but I really didn't have a bunch of settling like on my forehead or in any of like the texture on my cheeks. But the only thing, and I don't know if it really comes across on camera or not, but the only thing that I kept going back to with this that was kind of bothering me was how like it almost looked a little bit heavy on my cheeks. Like just right in this area, it seemed like it needed to either be pressed in more or like I just needed to work that area and refine it a bit. And so going in for today's video and, and just, you know, messing around with the foundation again or the CC cream, whatever you want to call it, um, I, I did notice that going in with less product and still, you know, focused building it where I needed to, but going in with less overall did make a difference. And I don't feel like, you know, today sitting here looking in my mirror, the viewfinder, or just like in my regular mirror up close, I don't feel like this foundation looks nearly as heavy after six hours as it did yesterday. So here's how I want to conclude this, just to kind of give you the bullet points. Number one, I want to say as far as application goes, I do feel like if you have to go brush versus a sponge, I would say that a sponge gets you a lot better, like a lot cleaner, more of like that pressed in look into the skin. And I think that it has something to do with like the, the thickness of this. It just has a little bit more weight to it. So if you do prefer to apply it with a brush, just be mindful of that. Make sure that you are working in thinner layers. And again, building up where you need to, um, or go in, you know, with a brush, work it all over and then take a sponge like I did yesterday and like press in that, um, press in the product to really get it into the skin and get everything pressed together. I just think for me, a sponge really was key in making sure that this was like nice and and, and pressed into the skin so there wasn't a ton of excess. Um, so that's my first, you know, tip just, you know, for me to you, if you're trying to eliminate that heaviness, definitely try a sponge, number one. Number two with this, the coverage, you guys, it is absolutely beautiful. I think that the look, the finish, and overall the amount of coverage that you're able to get out of something, but still have it look more natural is very, very impressive. And I even think maybe yesterday when I was going into this and I was reading through the specs, I was actually kind of taken back by the fact that they would call this like a full coverage natural 
natural looking CC cream because in my head I was like how are you gonna have both of those like how are you going to you know say oh it's full coverage but also it's natural like I just couldn't I couldn't get it and now that I've worn it not once but twice I 100% see what they were saying with this because I do feel like I have a beautiful amount of coverage but at the same time somehow it does look very nice and very natural-esque like the finish of it on my skin is just very nice and I think that because of that finish it is easier to manipulate you know if you prefer a matte finish versus a glowy finish you can you know go in with your own sprays or primers or whatnot like your other items to achieve whatever finish you want and in that sense it is just a very workable CC cream and I wanted to mention that because I know there's a lot of you know concern going into something like this is it going to be too matte or too this and I'm actually impressed with the level of neutral that this is like as far as the finish the look everything about it you really can play around with it and then even as far as the wear you guys I think that this looks beautiful like I said I think at this point I've been wearing it for like six or seven hours and it still looks pretty good I'm noticing like some light um settling right here which as I've said a hundred times that's pretty typical for me but overall and I guess a little bit in this wrinkle too but again still pretty typical um but it, overall I just I think that it looks really nice and then even along those lines too I really appreciate with this one that the coverage is so adjustable because yesterday when I wanted to build it up or you know I just went in with it straight it was a beautiful very like full decent full coverage CC cream but then today when I was playing around with it you know I wanted to test other products and like for example I actually went in with the MAC powder Powder, the MAC um, their foundation powder in NC10 and I used that instead of my um, my IT Cosmetics celebration foundation powder and just to because I wanted to play around with that coverage I wanted to see if I could get less coverage and you know if this would work as well using less product and you know going in just with a little bit less of a full beat versus yesterday and I was just really impressed with this overall that you can work with it you know from medium to full coverage from full glam to a little less glam and definitely one you know just kind of rounding it out here if you have had issues with the It Cosmetics CC Cream, I definitely think that this is one you could give a try to because I have had no, no luck with that one. And I feel like this one actually looks really beautiful on my skin. And it's just, yeah, it's a really beautiful CC Cream. Very nice, very natural, very neutral. And I think what I like about this a lot too is that it, it kind of combines for me the two worlds of like a CC Cream and a foundation because I feel like with a CC Cream, it's, you know, something that's quick. It's easy to apply. You can work with it, you know, do whatever and make it work for your skin type whereas with a foundation it tends to be more about like the coverage and the long wearing and like these other aspects of it that are built into it and I think that this one kind of brings both of those worlds together and you're able to get the ease of use application of the CC cream but with the adjustable coverage a very natural you know kind of finish on the skin and just by taking those two things and kind of fusing them together I do feel like you get a really easy to work with um, foundation and you know what just one thing I wanted to mention yesterday I felt like I went in with like too much powder around my mouth and it did feel a little bit tight like it felt just a little over dried so maybe with this one and this is just really really nitpicky at this point but just be mindful with this one in particular um, that you don't over powder it because technically you know it is trying to be a little bit more hydrating it's it's trying to give you like the the benefit of that hydrated natural look on the skin and so I think it's one of those ones that if you do over powder it you will feel it like you'll have a little bit of tightness but I don't think I have anything else to add and of course if I do it'll be either in the description box or in a pinned comment so definitely always always check the description box for more information of course I want to hear from you guys in the comments on this one do, do not leave me hanging down there um, I want to know did you try it and if so what did you think of it or were you curious are you going to try it and do you think based on kind of what you've read or what you've seen is it something that if you love the it cosmetic CC cream that you want to try in place of that um, or do you just want to try it because I mean it's from elf and it's $14 and you, you just want to know if it's good because honestly all all answers are accepted okay all answers are accepted and encouraged so leave everything down in the comments um, again whether it's about this or the other stuff we talked about just leave it all down there and of course as I said at the start of the video you can subscribe turn on your post notifications follow me on Instagram all of which I would greatly appreciate and I probably will be giving um, updates and whatnot on this foundation like talking about it wearing it applying it whatnot over on Instagram so if you're looking for more info on this or other makeup definitely follow me over there because I put a ton a ton of content over there but you guys that is officially it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Take a look. I'm not looking for perfect, just for somebody who holds me down when I'm hurting, lift me up when I lose. Oh my God. Okay.
I've officially pulled up the legs, so my, my pasty ass ham hock of a calf is exposed unto the world. Those are my free gifts with purchase. I love free gifts with my purchase. That's a serum. <laughs> That's not gonna help. <laughs>